Hey everybody, welcome back to some Risk of Rain 2, where on this we are going to be trying to beat Monsoon with several characters so that I can have the alternate skins unlocked. I've already done this before on a different account, but looks like we gotta get this done on this account. There's also some other achievements I need to get done, but um, those are tertiary to trying to get the really cool skins. Um, one of the things I need to do is get six turrets bought. That's one that's pretty easy to do. Is that a, a shield generator printer? It looks like it. Hey, big guy, what's going on? Don't look this way. He did not. <laughs> uh oh, he's gonna shoot me, except he's not. Get punched in the butt. Now, since I'm playing solo, I probably should not have brought the, the alternate R, because I'm not gonna have anything for ranged until I get a specific item that's useful for it. Um, so I might need to switch that up if this run doesn't go too well. Alright, but we have already found the teleporter. Yeah, this this is the problem here. I have nothing for hitting the wisps without the electricity art. There we go. But hopefully I can just have enough damage output between this and the swarms to just take care of them. Hey, beetle guards. Bonk. Bonk. Alright, let's get this queen. Bonk. Oh, half her health in one hit. Without even getting any other items. Uh, she kind of did the same back to me, though. A little... a little shitty. Alright, let's get these burning guys out of here. I said out of here. Go hit you with that. I think we're okay. We just don't have any healing or any way to deal with things in the sky at the moment. So I just kind of got to hope that I don't eat it real fast here. Oh, we got an equipment already. We'll take that. Maybe I should have put it on command so I can get specific items. Right, take care of you. Stealth kit's gonna help. Let's get this coin before I die. We're gonna hug the edge here and try to hide from these guys. And then hit this. And we're out. Oh! <gasps> Get that fast. There we go. <laughs> Not bad. I think we left on easy still. Maybe. Maybe we're still on easy. Yeah, we're still on easy. Okay, if we can get to the teleporter before it switches over, we'll be really well off for the next boss fight. Hey, big guy. Excuse me. Um, we're looking for those little dots blazing jellyfish looking for the fireflies I am not seeing them we're on a we're on a time frame here hey meow how's it going did you uh did you get out of the shower after rinsing the hair dye off uh, donde esta la teleporter? Maybe it's back here? Yeah, it's back here. Okay, we just gotta hit it before it goes up to medium so that we can keep this speed going. Oh no, you didn't shower? You gotta rinse that hair dye out, girl. Oh, I missed. Alright, we almost killed him in one hit though. Thanks. Thanks to Reynolds. Alright, the trick with fighting the Titans is if you stand at their feet, they won't do their laser attack. Which is like usually the biggest problem with them, is eating a lots of laser. They will only do the fist and summoning their like big stripe 
thing. Bonk. Yeah, I'll let you kill yourself. Alright. Also, these guys can't hit you if you just keep spinning around them. Seems to work out for me. This guy, though. You gotta come here. Ooh, a teddy bear. Perfect. That's what we're looking for. Paunch. Too lazy? Oh no. <laughs> Gotta take care of that hair. You're gonna burn it out if you leave the dye in too long. <laughs> take care of yourself. How's work, by the way? Are you, are you still at work or are you off work now? Bump. Send that guy to the stratosphere. Uh, let's get out of here ASAP. Get that TP. Kill this guy. Get this item, whatever it is. An ignition tank? Pretty good. Not gonna lie. I'm at home in the middle of the bed under a blanket. Aww. Everything you do is super cute, Mal. Okay, we are, uh, we're just gonna skip all of this corruption stuff. That is such a time sink. And I don't want to sink my time. There we go. And we kept it in medium. Imp Overlord? Damn it, they dodged me. Oh no, they dodged me a second time. That's not good. Oh no, oh no, oh no, we got bleed on us. We got, That's a lot of bleed. Yep, that's bad. We're dead. <gasps> Teddy bear saved us? Unbelievable. Oh no, the Imp Overlord got corrupted. Nope, we're dead. I did not get any healing items on that run, so that was a little bit of a shame. <laughs> it's blanky time. Aww. Alright, we're, uh, we're gonna get this back. Um, that way I have something to deal with the flyers. And this should go a little bit better now. I can hear a wisp near me. There you are, you little freak. All right, we'll put that over that way. Mm. Oh, there's TP, you can tell by the little fireflies. Hey, get out of here. Block my, my access. There we go. And the reason I rush the teleporter is not only because it is fast, because, you know, you beat the game by going going quick. That way you keep it at a low difficulty, but also because if you consider how often items drop while you're playing with the sacrifice artifact on, then um, bosses, whenever you complete a teleporter event, or whenever you beat the bosses in the teleporter event, you get rewarded with a green item, guaranteed. So as long as you hit teleporters really often, you get green items really often. And then after that, you know, you have all of this time where you have to kill enemies anyway, and then that's chances for more items to drop. So might as well just hit the teleporter really fast and get it out of the way. All right, we're getting way more item drops now too. We got a little speed, we got a little health. It's not healing, it's just more health. Alright, let's put our R up there, and then you'll see now I have something to deal zappy zaps to everything. Helps deal with all of those guys in the air. Ooh, a primordial cube, that also helps. Alright, we're gonna suck them all in, like this, and then punch them. Bonk! That super helps with that situation. Alright, let's put another zap out of all of those guys. 
And we get a focus crystal. That's really useful. And we out. We're out of here. Mal, do you play Risk of Rain? Do you like this game? Have you played this game? No! No! Damn it. Punch, 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 punch. Um, looks like there's another corruption event here, but we're just going to ignore it. And it looks like our TP is over this way. Is that a bear printer? It is a bear printer. So we're probably, um, depending on how many whites we get here, we might get that, uh, seven purchases and back to back. Get rid of that guy. That guy is trouble. There you are. I don't want no trouble. Uh, a corruption thing, no. Stop that. Oh, I wasn't at his feet, so I'm taking the laser, but thankfully he's already dead. It's not a big deal. Uh, Warhorn is okay. Not exactly what I'm looking for. Let's bring everything in. Hit him with that. Uh, I got a backup magazine. I'm gonna want to keep that. I shouldn't have picked that up. <laughs> um, you know, in for a penny, in for a pound, I guess. Backup magazine gives us extra grapples. No. What? Yeah, the the missing the bear. I know. Tale as old as time. Hitting the teleporter and not getting all the items. Oh yeah, the extra grapples do so much. Look at that. Look at that. Now I could take a little bit of time and try to fight all the corrupted monsters and get all that going. Um, because I am going to be on medium no matter what. Basically. Oops. Uh, let's suck all these guys in. There we go. We took care of six of those. I'm going to assume the other monsters are the ones that are rooted into the void. They're like little, yeah, these guys here. They don't actually get to run away. So they, they don't come for you and chase you down. Um, come this way, guys. There's another one. Now you take constant damage while in the void, so it's a little bit scary to be in here. But since no new enemies are spawning... Oh, they're over here. They're over here. They were trying to come for me. There we go. Pull him. Alright, get that. Where's the other one? Alright, they're gone. They're out. Again, we're already in medium. There wasn't a way for me to avoid that. So, um... It looks like this is the only one I have. Ooh, I'll take that scrap. Now I probably, hopefully I won't die to something really stupid after doing this, but uh, here, let's, uh, let's put this out here so whenever this pops out, it just instantly kills them so that they can't hurt me. And we're gonna get a plasma shrimp, yes! Okay, plasma shrimp is great. Yeah, I know, I don't wanna miss the bear either. Um, plasma shrimp is awesome. Every time I hit something, I launch a missile. Oh man, lost my focus crystal. I'm gonna do this until I lose, um, one of my magazines. There we go. I'll keep that sprint can, that's fine. Bears, uh, give you a small chance to block damage. And that is super important when you're melee, because you're basically not gonna be able to avoid taking damage sometimes. All right, I think that was a fair amount of cleanup. You're looking at about three minutes per stage, and we're on the third stage at six minutes. So as long as we're out of here before nine, we're probably looking pretty good. All right, what are you? Energy drink? Don't care. You actually feel like Spider-Man. Whatever that means. Imp Overlords. Alright, where are you guys appearing? Right here. 
All right, let them do their slam. All right, put things in here, hit them, then bounce off. All right, we're a little bit bleed. A little scary, but the amount of bleed. All right, we got to take care of some of these guys like that. Oh, I stepped on a bleed again. That's not good. It's not good to step on bleed st spots, those little spikes there. All right, I got to take care of the burn. We're in the red. A lot of things are spawning, so we're just gonna we're gonna move away and draw the bosses over here. Oh no, that's it. I landed inside of them. Oh. So once again, no healing items makes it a little bit hard. What's going on around here? We are uh, we're farming monsoon runs. We're trying our best, um, but we are kind of at the whim of the random. I think I'm gonna put it on command next just so that I can pick some of my own items I was hoping to not have to do that because it kind of feels cheaty in my opinion it kind of makes the game a little bit too easy to be able to pick your own items but at the same time I, I want these skins and it's a mechanic in the game so you know self-imposed limitations are fun and all but I want I want progress <laughs> I want the dopamine. Hit me with the dopamine. Bonk. Um, where is my TP? There you are. Oh, when we get a free shop out of this. Nice. Stuff and things. It's true. Um, scientists, like nine out of 10 scientists agree stuff and things. All right, we're gonna hook onto him and just do this because it's fun. And he did. Oh no, there are so many Lumerians. Here, we'll punch in that direction so that they get some of the, the aftershock there. Like that, like this. I should take care of him. Uh, ooh, the uh, guitar is pretty good. Or ukulele, sorry, ukulele. Oh, and, and Leech Seed is a healing item, so this may be the run after all. Mwah! It's the cutie me. Thank you. Much appreciated. Oh, what do we got here? Gasoline. Now that's helpful. That'll also help take care of a lot of those flyers, since they like to group up in packs. We'll kill them like this. Bonk. Here, have some of that too, while I go over here and hide behind this log. Bonk! How's my, uh, how's my boob doing? How's my little slime boob doing? You having a good one so far? Alright, we're gonna go to the shop. And away we go! Now, what am I going to want to get out of the shop? Uh, kind of consequently shaped glass. It's going to reduce my health by half, but double my damage. But that's going to basically let me one-shot everything. Um, purity is also good. I don't usually go for random chance items on the loader. Um, none of that then. Um, what do I want to choose? Arlenite could help out in clearing bosses, but doing that is going to be a bit of a pain. So let's just move on. Resetting brain and I'm being a lot a bit better. All right Chilling and watching some risk of rain will help with that Because I'm not gonna get mad who gets mad at video games wouldn't be me All right, where is my TP? Oh, there it is. It's like in the same spot as last time. Excuse me, excuse me, coming over this way. Oh no, we got Dune Striders. The most feared of all the bosses. At least in the early game. 
these guys can be a bit of a pain, because if you don't kill them while they're in the middle of an attack animation, then they do this thing where they, they fall on the ground and they suck everything up and uh, do constant damage. So what I'm going to do is put this near low health, like this, and I'm just going to wait for him to do that move and then finish him off. Because otherwise he would heal off of everything around him and it is a huge pain in the ass. Huge ass pains there. And you don't want huge ass pains. That's not a guy you want to invite to your party. Hugh Jazz Pains? You ever, you ever seen him? You ever heard of him? He's a real jerk sometimes. Uh, I think I heard an item drop somewhere. I think someone died and dropped an item. There, have some of that. Yep, there it is. There's one at least. Maracas? We got maracas. Die, foul beast! You don't belong in this world. It's not by my hand that I'm given form, but humans who wish to pay me tribute. Pay you tribute, but you steal men's souls and make them your slaves. Perhaps the same can be said of all religions. Your words are as cold as your heart. I gotta sing the doom song What is a now? man? I can't, I can't do it while that's going on. <laughs> a dirty little pile of secrets. <laughs> a miserable little pile of secrets. But enough talk. How about you? All right, there they are. There they are. That's what I'm talking about. Get out. Where's the other one? There you are. Get out of here. Zero monsters remaining. Let's get this. All of you gone. We'll take a singularity man. That is fine. It's not my preferred choice, but at the same time, um, ooh. Um, it's not terrible. It does pull everything in, which makes it easier to hit. So you Gucci, aww. Alright, we gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. And hope we don't hit another Imp Overlord because those guys have uh, ended two runs now. Alright, where are my fireflies at? Not over there. Probably means it's on the back side over there and I can't see it because the sun is in the way. So here's what we do. We punch. We pull. Punch. Yep, it's on top. Oh, I hit it. Come on. There we go. Grove Tender. Alright, it's a little different. Still kind of hurts, so you gotta be careful because he spawns a whole bunch of dudes. But, um, I'm gonna be having an easier time standing right on top of him, unlike the uh, the Imp Overlord where you have to dodge his little like ground slam thing. This is fine. This is fine. We're just gonna drop down on you with speed. Use terminal velocity to our advantage. Chrono Bobble is not my first pick, but um, whatever. Beggars cannot to be choose. <laughs> Uh, more maracas. That means we have a better chance of getting maracas, but because of purity, we really just don't have good chances at all. Ooh, I will take the syringe, though. Nobody's gonna complain about getting a syringe or two, right? Let me just bounce on your head like it's Mario. <gasps> Khaled! Khaled 1996! With a zero. <laughs> so probably, you know, a different number than that. <laughs> but thank you for following. Welcome. I hope you are interested in watching me beat Monsoon on my first try. <clears throat> first try. <laughs> as a loader. Definitely not the third run of the day. Um, oh, that's stun grenades. I thought that was more syringes over there. Nope, we're out. 
It's going to be on hard mode when we hit level 4, but hopefully we can get to uh, Mythrix before it's a real problem. A real problem. Oh, you. Oh, that didn't work. Alright, uh, we did get Siren's Call, so I think I should take the time to uh, show you how how I make make you feel. What's the word? Like a fool. Kind of sick. Special needs. Anyway. Um, we're, we're gonna go ahead and try to get all of the, uh, the eggs out of the way. So we can summon the, the certain special probe. Because if we can do that, we get a free red item out of it, and that should help out with the Mith Mithric fights. So we're going to do a little exploration here and see if we can do that. It would just be wonderful. It'd just be fan tiddly -tastic. Oh, we left a green item down there. Out of my way, bird! Thank you for the daisy. Another stun grenade printer. Egg. Kill on sight egg. That did not kill. We did not get the proper amount of murder in this area. There is another egg. Ooh, more maracas! One day, we'll actually get them to happen. They'll proc. So after you break, like, eight eggs, I think, maybe it's more than that, um, you get a certain boss to spawn on this level, and then once you kill the boss, uh, you get a guaranteed red drop from it, which makes this definitely worth the time. However, I'm about to go into the very hard difficulty, so what I will do is activate the boss for the level first. Um, if I can find it. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm not gonna have time. Where is it? There it is. It's up here. Back. Spawn this. All of you, die. Welcome to die. It's a vagrant, no problem. Alright, just hold on to it. Just wrangle this. It's in your cowgirl nature. Oh god! Oh god! What is burning me? Oh, so many, so many vultures. So many birds. It's fine. This is fine. This is not fine. I have so much burning on me. We're not fine. We're not fine. We're out. We're out, and we're going to hang out down here for a second. Again, Loader be the best girl. All right. Oh, that's not good. Ah, damn it. We were so close on that one. Um, biggest problem there is I didn't realize how many burning enemies were behind me. Uh, let's go ahead and put command on. And now we're just going to go for the win. <laughs> Before there were some self-imposed limitations there. But uh, now I want the victory. So give me that victory. That one was a pretty good run too. I think if I have the chance to pick up the... Uh, the special band, the corrupted bands, I'm just not going to take it. Because having that DPS drop probably hurts more than the benefit of... Ooh. Well, I guess we could take a Shrine of the Mountain to start with, you know, and just get a little bit spicy there. But <laughs> everyone likes their food a little bit spicy, right? Even if you're just one of them black pepper people, you might want some black pepper on there. Alright, so what the Shrine of the Mountain does is makes an extra boss spawn, and since I'm doing swarms, that means there's going to be four bosses. Which is a bit of a, a problem. But at the same time, as long as I kill two of them fairly quick, like this. Uh, I was hoping I would get them before they spawned all the dudes, but... Uh, maybe that's fine, because now I will get more item drops from killing things. Have some of that over there. 
It's a shame that these two spawn so far apart from each other, so I can't kill them both at the same time. But, uh, it looks like this was pretty easy. This is fairly problematic free. And we get the benefit of two green items. And with that, I can get myself some amount of healing and some amount of damage and be pretty well-rounded to start out. So what I'm probably going to take is a Kajaro's Band, which is the fire. Whenever you do a big enough hit, it causes like a little fire storm to happen. And that does a significant amount of damage because it scales off of the damage of the thing that propped it. And since it's probably going to be my big ass punch that's doing it, that's going to be a lot of damage. Now that's a lot of damage. And these guys are going to be bears and probably a med kit. Um, so let's get this band. Alright, get this guy out of here so I can buy my stuff and go. Uh, you're gonna be a bear. And you're gonna be a bear. And you're going to be a leech seed. Now, I don't get a lot off of Leech Seed unless I'm doing the punches, but when I'm on a boss just hammering away, that's going to help out a lot. So because I have Kajaro's Band, the next time I punch something, look at the big fire tornado that spawns. And uh, you'll see some pretty good damage there. I'm looking for those fireflies that signal the teleporter is here. I'm getting the feeling it is... Oh, oh, oh. This is fine. Oh, except I'm gonna bump my head there. There we go! Oh, it's just outside. Perfect. It means we don't have to clear all of this before we can get to it. Alright, let's start this. It's probably gonna be a Dune Strider or Beetle. It is Beetle. Alright, and then see that fire tornado just completely wrecks everything. And let's do it again. Oh, uh, it's got a cooldown. If you look at the bottom, uh, I'm covering it. You can't see it. There is a cooldown there. It shows as a debuff, which is pretty interesting that the cooldown for this thing is a is considered a debuff. Because if you get things that stop you from having debuffs, then that means you basically can do that all you want. And it's pretty nuts. So if you get the, uh, the particular equipment that cleanses... Uh, let's get a med kit. That's going to help. And let's also get a Cautious Slug. Where is my Cautious Slug buddy? Right in the middle, of course. Alright, now we're going to go back to bears. So that we don't get damage. Um, now we're going to get the other band because it works like the fire one except it's ice. Which is great. Uh, these guys are a pain in the butt. Get out of here. And then after this, we're probably going to get the uh, ukulele so that our punch can spread to other enemies. It really helps with cleaning up a big group like that. Oh, hey, guy. Ukulele does like a chain lightning thing, and it do also deals damage based off of the thing that procs it. So if my punch procs it, then you're looking at some pretty good damage getting shared around here. Okay. Kill you. Kill that. One void monster remaining. None remaining. Okay, let's see what this is. Again, if it's the band, we're not going to take it. There we go. Took care of you. And it is... Oh, it's choice because it's that. Um, uh, let's do collapse. Um, whenever you deal damage to something, it puts collapse on it. And then a few seconds later, it does big spike damage. Which, since I'm playing spike damage character, obviously pretty good. Punch its butt? Oh, oh yeah, we're butt punching in this place. We don't let up the bunt punching. The, the bunt punching? The bunt punching. Um, I'm also beginning to think maybe I should go for early shops to help with the uh, monsoon run. Because getting that purity really helps with uh, increasing my attack speed. So we're just going to hit this real quick. Bonk! Uh, pardon. Pardon me, sir. Um, and you? Don't don't you dare T-pose on me and insert your dominance. There we go. Alright. 
Let's find our TP, which seems to be right here. With our blue portal on it. It is Overlords again. This time, though, we do have a band, so let's punch and then GTFO before we get a bunch of bleed on us. And hey, look at that. Problem solved. Except we got a yellow instead of a green. So I'm not going to be able to get ukulele off that guy. Right, let everything walk in there. Oh, all right. We've got too many flyers up here. And so many bison. Ooh. Sniper no sniping. Oh, he's just outside the range of that. Took care of that. We've got 12 corruption monsters remaining. As long as they keep coming over here, we're fine. And we're also right next to the, the place where they spawn from. I think we took care of those ones. There's another one there. See how they like launch out those little things? Okay, could you stop that? Get over here and stop it. You have to, you can't just kill the, oh, we got a red drop. All right, that's gonna be a hard light after burner. Why hard light after burner when there's so many good options? Because that gives me three shifts. If you look at the bottom right there, see how my shift has uh, extra charges on it? That shit's incredible. That shit is incredible. Alright, we're gonna take this. Uh, we're gonna get more bears. Thank you. I don't. Why are you so slow? Just die. Um, we're also going to grab more needles. Uh, actually, more bears. Just Let's get seven bears first. Uh, we will also get an ignition tank for that Kajaro ban. What are we gonna take here? It's gonna be Mired Urn because that heals us. Stop that. Uh, thank you for the item, though. You have eight void monsters remaining. Seven. I want this because if the shrimp is an option, the shrimp is amazing. So I want to take the shrimp. So we're going to punch our way up here. See if we can find these other enemies. Um, is there another bubble on this level somewhere? Because we're already in hard, so I've got a while before it goes to very hard. There they are. These guys got lost. Um, something's... Oh, hey, hey, hey. Something's... Oh, inside. Yeah, there it is. Alright, is that all of them? That's all of them. Now we can see what's in this thing. Um, I should probably grab a backup magazine. And we've got... I'm gonna take the bustling fungus. Uh, that way I get healed as I move. I'm also going to take rockets because I need something to help me with flying enemies still. So I think we're pretty well set there. How did you unlock artifacts? Uh, you have to go to the Bulwark Ambry, which is accessed. Oh, no, 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 Meyer, please don't. Please don't get me in trouble. Um, on the fourth level, there's a place where you put in little... Oh, you know what? It doesn't matter because I choose. So we're going to get that. And then we're also going to get ourselves a gesture of the drowned. I don't have it unlocked, so fuck me. <laughs> Uh, mm, mm, do I want anything else instead? Timer isn't running, so I, I'm not, like, really pressed there. I could just take a second one. My proc chances would be super... You know what? Let's do this. It's a little bit dangerous, but I like to live dangerously. Um, I don't want either of those levels, and honestly, I don't have a lot of coins left. Um... But now we should be pretty hard hitting. Um, I need to remember to get myself a backup magazine or two and I'll be fine. We'll be a-okay. All right, look for them fireflies.
I saw a shrine of the mountain over there. We're gonna hit this. See elder Lumerians fighting things over there. All right, we already wiped out one like that. All right, I was not moving fast that time. Let's take care of the bells with those. Like that. Ooh, big miss, big whiff. It's okay though, we have multiple punches now. Um, the Imp Overlord is now killing other things. And other things are killing it, so that works out in our favor. <laughs> Elder Lumerian got corrupted. Let's dodge those fireballs. take care of you. I'm not going to pick anything up until I'm sure the coast is clear. Oh, there's a Healy boy back there. Hate that. Alright, we're going to use this again, and I'm also going to grab a fuel cell so it charges faster. Alright, a mired urn is going to help out with things piling up on top of us. Nice. Uh, we're going to use that for the backup magazine, like I said. But I'm worried about stuff spawning on top of me. I've only got a couple seconds left on the teleporter event. Alright. Right, take care of you. We got a little collapse on us. Fine, let's let these missiles take care of some stuff for us. Uh, we need backup magazine, backup magazine right there. We'll grab another one. Very good. Um, oops. Now let's get you down here. Stop that. Let's get more teddy bear. We want to get about seven teddy bears before we call it quits on teddy bears. All right, I'm going to assume the next four are all of these guys here. Uh, that's that's eight. Let's also get a med kit so we can get a little bit of healing after we take damage. There you are. That should be the last one. Is there anything in this corruption area worth getting? Oh, don't tell me there was nothing in here. That's sad. Anything up here? Was there two corruption areas? There was not. Alright, oh, well, let's buy a missile drone then. And see if we can afford the red. Nope. It was 2,000 and we don't even have 1,000, so let's get the fuck out of here. No one can touch mash movement. Having three punches really helps with uh, moving around a lot. All right, now that we're here, let's see where our, our teleporter is. It's over there. You can see little blue fireflies. Uh, G constructs are gonna give me some grief. So I'm gonna take care of them before I start the boss because most likely there's going to be another one spawning as the boss. There we go. And I just don't want to have to deal with like five of them all at the same time. It could be a grandparent or these guys. Which as far as bad guys go, not bad at all. I say and then watch me get like obliterated by them. Again, we don't have a lot of health. Like our damage is ridiculous. 
The reason why I'm okay with putting myself in a bad health situation for damage is that the, the thing that worries me the most is the Mithrix fight. And Mithrix is a hard-hitting son of a bitch. Um, so even if I had a whole lot of life, it wouldn't matter because he would basically one-shot me anyway. I'm not going to reliably be able to avoid getting hit by... Or, uh, if I do get hit by Mithrix, I'm probably going to die no matter what. So I might as well just have all the damage I can get. That is my strat. And try to get to him as quick as possible. Is the other strat. So that we don't have a lot of time wasted. Which means extra difficulty. Man, these little new turret guys kind of suck. Alright, good job, ukulele. Alright, let's do some cleanup here. What do I want to get? I want things that help me, um... Jeez, on hit. I don't want things on kill because things on kill don't really help. Alright, let's do more collapse damage. Let's get more of this for more of that fire damage. You, stop that. Uh, let's get more of this. I should probably get a crowbar just for that first hit. That'll help out. And then probably a whole bunch of uh, armor piercing rounds if I could, but it looks like that's everything. So let's, oh, nope, there we go. Armor piercing round. Bueno. Bueno. All right, on to Mithrix. We need to, I don't need to actually fight him or I don't need to like do all the things where you uh, clear the, the, what are they called? Like the little teleporter like event things, the beacons. Because I have the triple punch, I should be able, oh, I don't have enough uh, grapple for this. All right, we're gonna use our momentum here and try to carry us up. I'm getting shot in the butt, that doesn't help. Oh, we do have purity too, which means we could probably just punch our way there, no problem. Purity and hard light after burner means I can just skip the whole level and come up here. There we go. We can also cheese them out with the disposable rocket launcher if we so desire which may be what we end up doing. It is a double Mithrix fight because we are on Swarm. But there we go, we've already done half damage to that one. Jump over that. Maybe I should have given myself a feather at some point. That might have been a good idea. Ooh, he gave us a little pat on the butt there. That was dangerous. <laughs> Nope, dead. I needed a feather. Damn it. Well, so much for that episode. Um, if you enjoyed watching, please give me a like. If you want to see more of it in the future, subscribe. If you have any tips or tricks for me, leave them in the comments down below. And until next time, take care of yourself and take care of those around you. Bye-bye.